something that I did on my behalf that affected this relationship really bad. It was not only disrespectful to you, it was uncalled for. What's up, Nizi Gay? Gay, 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 gay. What up? Okay. So it's really windy out here. It is. Um, There's also a beautiful fountain behind us. So, so yeah, you guys possibly may not hear us. We have not been on the internet. Well, at least I haven't for about like a while. And a lot of you guys noticed. And yeah. There's a reason why and we wanted to talk to you guys about it because you know that we really do look at you guys like as our family. family. We like to share things with you guys and keep you like included. Something that I did on my behalf that affected this relationship really bad i've done this before you guys notice that i've done it and it's very um childish the one thing out of our relationship that i shouldn't do which is go to the internet and express my problems that i have with natalie to the world you know what i'm saying and vent and i know that this is like our job and you know we we love showing you guys so much of what goes on but the there thing, are some things that should be kept private yeah and... there's there's some things that should be kept private and the thing that I did was not only disrespectful to you, it was uncalled for. I'm supposed to be the person you go to, confide in, love, and hold your deepest secrets. And when you need a shoulder to cry on, I'm supposed to be that person. Mm -hmm. And I decided to allow my insecure emotions to get the best of me and lash out on social media and express what I was feeling instead of just keeping it between us. Yeah. Now, our relationship isn't perfect. And our comfortability, it was at a point where it was too comfortable. And regardless if I have a life on social media, our problems should never be. The world needs to know what our problems is. For if they do know our problems, uh -huh. it's something that we both agree on. Like this right. is something that is healthy for us to share to right. our audience because we do want you guys to know that we're real people. We're, of course, you're going to get a lot of good with us, but you guys deserve to see how couples work things out you guys we think it's a positive thing for you guys to see that type of stuff too and that we do also have our issues just like everyone else and yeah. it makes it more relatable you know yeah. so whenever we do make a video like this one where we are telling you guys that we're going through something this is something that we both decided hey this could be a learning experience for the easy gang yeah so maybe we should put this out we should never neither of us should ever post something or put something out that was not agreed upon yeah. by the other person you yeah know? And, and this is just mainly on my behalf what we were going through privately I just felt like how could I you know what I'm saying how could I do something like that to my best friend you know and I'm not perfect and you know damn sure I'm not perfect but the fact that I did that and no matter what the truth was even if you were being the most disrespectful person to me and you were not I shouldn't have allowed myself to get there mm -hmm. because that's just ugly yeah. And it's not, it's not who I am. And based off of my own insecurities, I allow the person myself you to do be. that. Yeah, you know. I feel like too something that we've been talking about is realizing, and we wanted to share with us with the knees again because we feel like this yeah. is a very. We spent like all afternoon talking about how every relationship that you have, yeah. you have to look at it like a house. You, yeah. build, you build a house together, a home, exactly. okay? Whether, and this is romantic, this is regular relationships, this is family relationships. Each You have a home with each person. And within that home, you fill it with the things that are important to you and that person. You guys live in that home together. Yeah. That is your relationship. And something that I expressed to Easy is I felt like the foundation of our home was broken. Um, yeah. And the foundation, as you guys know, is the most important part of a house. If the foundation yeah. is like not built good if it's cracked if it's rotting yeah like then honestly the house is going to tumble down the house it's first hurricane or, or earthquake or whatever that comes through yeah. it's going to tear the house down right yeah so i told her and we've been talking about how we need to rebuild the foundation of our home right and I actually expressed to her some things we came up with is the number one thing to a healthy foundation for our home is respect yeah. and then love and love is different, different. love languages different because love. it's not going to just be what my perception of love is it's going to be what her my perception obsession. of love is too yeah. and we have to understand that so that we can actually love each other exactly. you know then the next thing would be probably communication yeah. and being able to talk through things and not lash out because we're actually yeah. understanding each other exactly. and we have too much respect which was the number one thing for each other to lash out and then the last 
thing that we think is important for our foundation is compassion because then we understand that neither of us are perfect so whenever we're going through something we have enough compassion to try to understand why that person reacted or did something or said something the way that they did and when you have that amount of compassion then that makes you want to communicate that makes you want to respect that person it makes Mm -hmm. you want to love that person so I think this is Honestly, it was a huge lesson and a monumental thing that we probably came up with for our relationship. So maybe you guys should figure out what type of relationships and homes you're building with other people because you don't want to build a house with somebody that is made out of rotted boards. You know what I'm saying? Like you want a home, whether it's your with your best friend or whoever, your mother, that literally will not blow over with the first hurricane that comes. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. And I also feel that off camera we've talked so much and it wasn't up until this situation where we actually felt more connected after everything happened and when the reason why i say that is because we took time from social media and put that time into our relationship we were using i feel like we were so invested into our business and not catering and giving that love you know that we needed to our relationship yeah you know what i'm saying it was just so like at a point it felt like we were just business partners and for we forgot that we were like in love we didn't even take enough time for yeah, ourselves exactly. let alone each other exactly and, and and it was like how we weren't even realizing like damn we weren't having deep combos anymore we felt like damn we weren't really communicating anymore damn do i even know you do i know how to deal with you why am i making impulsive decisions why can't i just talk to you and we felt like we were so wrapped up in social media that it was just like yo not everything needs to be on in, on the internet. We need to deal with our problems within ourselves. Shut everybody out. Let me learn about you. I know you as my best friend. Let me learn you as my lover. You know what I'm saying? And there was just so many disconnections that we were starting to have. And it was just like, damn, what is this? Who are you? What, like, I don't remember this easy. I don't remember this Natalie. And not, not that she did anything wrong. It was just that we started to realize so many different things. I needed a break. You know, I needed a break from social media because that was my day in, day out. My screen time, I don't know if you guys have an iPhone. And I looked at my screen time, how many hours I was on my phone. And the amount of hours was literally 10 hours. A day. 10 hours a day. And there's 24 hours in a day. So I was, half of the day. I was on my phone for 10 hours. You can go by day. You can go by week. But it was 10 hours, 9 hours, 7 hours, 11 hours. And I was like, yo, what? Are you kidding me? Where's that time for myself? Yeah. The time that I need for me. Now, granted, a lot of that time like, was, you know, she was working a lot right. of the time, and but a lot of it was also just becoming Scrolling. habitually, yeah. um, kind of like engaged with social media, with your phone, and yeah. and you realize that time is going to pass you by, yeah. regardless of if you're actually in the moment, engaged, yeah. taking in everything, taking in your partner, blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. Do you want to? let your life go by and realize you spent literally half of the time on your phone because if at that point you were spending half of your time on your phone half of your time on your phone you will literally miss out on so many things and so many memories that you could have made it might be your phone it might be a video game it might be whatever it might Mm -hmm. be it could be anything that is taking your time and distracting you from actually living presently in your life with the people that you love but take that time and realize that And that's something that, you know, we had to do, you know. Once I found that peace within myself, I knew I was able to give that peace to us. So I do want to say, you know, publicly again, that I'm sorry, Natalie, for making that decision to impulsively react off of an assumption based off of my insecurity, if that makes sense. You know, and you know that I've, I've apologized and shown you actions of growth in myself. And that's why we're here right now. Yeah. But I do want to say publicly, because I decided to have actions that were public, that I am sorry. And you are the love of my life. You know what I'm saying? You mean the world to me. And, you know, something that I said earlier, she was just talking. And I was just admiring everything she was saying. And, I, and my alarm went off. And she was like, oh, am I talking so long? She talked. She was talking for 25 minutes. I see. I didn't straight. know. 25 minutes straight, and I didn't even notice. There was a clock behind her. And I was like, oh, damn. And my, my alarm went off, and she was like, oh, am I talking too much? And I'm like, no. Like, so she's starting to be repetitive. I was like, no, you know, I admire you. You know, I said, I admire you. And I was just like, when you talk, time doesn't exist. You know, and it was just it was like, deep. it was like, yo, like, 
fuck everything else like what we have to do what where we have to go like yeah, nothing like, else matters you but matter this moment. but this moment you know and that's what we realized like we were so focused on time and schedule that we weren't focused on ourselves and now it's just like we, we, i feel like we missed a lot of time we missed so much time together and that the time that was very important to us wow you know what i'm saying that's and, crazy to spend every single day with a person and feel like you miss out on time feel like you haven't actually even been with them for right. however long that's crazy wow that's that deep. that shows you how we you being consumed with something else can really you could be existing with somebody right. but you're not actually with them yeah and it it affected our relationship yeah. a lot and our friendship and our friendship and it was like we were changing we knew how to be best friends but being a, with somebody as a lover is totally different and you have to learn communication you have to learn them and you have to understand every aspect because it's the hardest thing to do it feels like it just rejuvenated with excitement it ju- rejuvenated with love peace happiness and connecting in ways where we've been like wait when's the last time we did something like this like this is insane Talk when's the last hours time? and hours bro just, just hours and it was so good it was such a positive conversation and yeah. learned about each other and went and did stuff and didn't even record it right. like when did we do that and i think that's another thing we learned about balance it's mm-hmm. like of course we want to share as much as we can with the Neasy gang and stuff yeah. but we also have to find that balance where we are taking enough time for us to just connect and do things together without yeah recording it you know yeah. so with that being said you know again i love you natalie um you know and w- through this journey of love i continue to I-, I want to continue it you know what i'm saying and we're gonna have hiccups in our relationship but i just want you to know that you're safe for me and all the child just childish shit that i've done on social media um you know i'm going to talk to you first before anybody you're my heart you're my everything nobody else it needs to be in our business and definitely doesn't i should never hurt you publicly or behind closed doors or privately (laughs) i never will you know what i'm saying i can't wait to grow old with you i can't wait to keep growing and continuing this positive journey that we're on i feel happier i know the conversations that you've had with me you feel happier i do yeah and it's just i just can't wait to keep living with you I appreciate everything that you're saying a lot, you know? Yeah. And we've already had com- these conversations yeah. for hours and hours, but, you know, we feel like this is healthy to show how it looks to work through something in a healthy way. So, right. Yeah. So, it's real windy out here in Easy Game. We just wanted to make sure, like, we were good before letting anybody else in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel so happy and positive on this journey. I'm just thankful to be here. Thank you guys so much. Uh-oh. For, for watching us. We love you. We miss you. And we are so grateful to have each and every one of you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you guys for always riding for Natalie the way you guys do. Thank you guys for trying to correct me when I'm wrong and tell me, like, hey, easy. Shut it down. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut your phone off. Shut your phone off. Do whatever you got to do. Okay. Log out. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And thank you guys for everything. Health is the most important thing within yourself and if you're in a relationship cater to your partner all right and we're out easy game we're out